The next question on the ballot is Initiated Ordinance 305 and concerns legal support for people facing evictions. It would raise taxes by approximately $12 million annually, which would increase in future years based on the Colorado Consumer Price Index, to provide free legal representation for people facing evictions. The funds would come from an excise tax to be paid by landlords on each individual residential property held out for lease in the amount of $75 per year per such property. The revenues would be used to fund the administrative cost of the tax and thereafter to establish, run, and fully fund a program to provide legal representation to tenants who face the loss of housing in eviction and administrative proceedings. Provide a tenant's legal services and assistance coordinator to administer the program and create a tenant's committee comprised of seven members paid $1,000 per year stipend. Here are the pros and cons of 305. Proponents of Initiated Ordinance 305 say this ordinance would reduce homelessness, prevent unjust evictions, keep families in their homes, and create an equitable system between renters and landlords. In approximately 9,000 yearly eviction filings in Denver, less than 1% of renters have access to an attorney, compared to 90% of landlords. This results in unjust outcomes and wrongful evictions that disproportionately affect vulnerable communities. Under no eviction without representation, all renters would have free access to a lawyer to help them navigate the eviction process, learn their rights, and stop unjust evictions. Cities with similar programs providing simple access to legal representation have seen eviction rates drop by half. It seeks to make the system fair for renters while avoiding needless evictions that often lead to homelessness, damage to child development, and a vicious cycle of poverty. Those opposed to 305 say Colorado's multifamily housing providers often try to avoid evicting tenants and work out arrangements with families struggling to make payments. The state's historically low eviction rate is evidence of this. In the first six months of 2022, evictions had fallen below the 20-year average for the metro area through the efforts of landlords. The fundamental issue with the proposal is that the money will fund lawsuits, not support residents in paying rent. And it comes from the rental housing provider, not society as a whole. The amount of money to be collected is more than what is required for the purpose. The evictions filed in Denver court are not big time litigation, but county court cases that take an hour of attorney time. This excise tax also adds to landlord's expenses and may inflate costs for tenants. Tenants receive many types of funding and resources from the federal, state, and local governments that landlords do not. Any money appropriated to help residents preserve housing should go to rental assistance programs that will help pay rent, not to fees for attorneys suing rental housing providers.